It was a cool, September night in 1961, September 19th to be exact. Married couple Barney and Betty Hill were traveling from Montreal, Canada, to Portsmouth, Hampshire. They were coming home from their honeymoon. It was very late and as they drove, they noticed a bright light in the sky that appeared to be following them. With every mile they drove, the light grew bigger and brighter. Barney, having been a World War II veteran and avid airplane enthusiast, he didn't think much of it at first. As they traveled though, it came closer, got brighter and seemed to follow them brightly from the sky. Eventually, the hills became so curious that they decided to pull over to see exactly what it was that was following them. Things were about to take a very strange turn. Through a pair of binoculars, the hills could see that this was not a satellite, nor an airplane. They could easily see that it seemed to be a flying disc saucer. Barney, being a skeptic of extraterrestrials, didn't want to jump to conclusions as to what he was seeing, but both of them clearly saw what appeared to be a UFO. Barney stopped, got out of the car with a gun, and claimed to have saw something that was as big as a jet but as flat as a pancake. In the windows of the craft were figures dressed in gray uniforms who told Barney to put down his binoculars. He tried to raise his gun but was unable to. Realizing that he was about to be abducted, Barney ran back to the car and sped off. At some point, the Hills claimed to have heard strange beeping noises from their trunk, felt drowsy, and eventually lost consciousness. The next morning on the 20th of September, they woke up, somehow at their home with no recollection of how they got there. Barney's shoes were scuffed up and Betty's dress was damaged and torn. Both of the couple's watches had stopped working at the exact same time. The Hills both started having vivid and scary dreams about being abducted and being experimented on by the aliens. They started seeing a psychiatrist named Benjamin Simon, who soon helped them piece together exactly what had happened through hypnosis. According to the hypnosis sessions, the UFO landed on top of their car and somehow made them sleep walk up a long ramp, into the UFO with the strange gray creatures who were communicating with them, telepathically. They were both lead to separate areas of the craft and were examined, separately. During hypnosis, the memory of their ordeal was very traumatizing. They were said to have had skin samples removed, prodded with needles to the head and stomach and other areas. Nail clippings were even taken and Betty was even given a pregnancy test. Although the tests that were given was very uncomfortable and at times and frightening, Betty claimed that the beings were all very nice to her. One of the aliens in particular, seemed to be the leader of them all. That particular creature communicated to Betty, that they were from the star system, Zeta Reticuli. Betty claimed they had shown her a map of that star system, which was unknown in the 60s. Strangely enough, in the years since, the map that Betty was able to recreate from memory has turned out to be very accurate. Unfortunately, Barney passed away only four years after the bizarre event. Betty went on to live a very long life and passed away in 2004. What do you all think? Was it an abduction from extraterrestrials or was it an elaborate hoax? Have you ever seen a UFO or do you believe in them? We'd love to hear your comments below. Also, you'd be helping this channel immensely by ringing that bell icon to be reminded of all future videos. Also, please, like, share and follow our social medias listed in the comments below. You can also help support us by picking up some of our amazingly cool merch in our swag shop at graveyardins.com. We thank you all from the bottom of our hearts for watching and if you have any story ideas that you would like to see covered, we do stories on just about anything that is strange, weird or out. There. Just go to our website for all our contact links. Please and thank you.